While Jacob was sleeping, he had a dream in which a ladder stood on the earth, which its top reaching to heaven, and on it were angels of God going up and coming down. 14th week ordinary time, 5th of July, Monday, Reflection. Our life should be always connected to, connected to this ladder which connects earth and heaven. Angels would come down and go up. So our life always should have this focus. We live in this world, but then we are not of the world and not for the world. We have to have that connection all the time. We have to remember that in that mind, this ladder, the intervention of God and your connection, to, connection towards him is of paramount importance. That's how Jacob sees this dream of this ladder and it's continuous, continuous connection. And then Lord spoke to him in that dream. And then he said, I am Yahweh, the God of your father Abraham and God of Isaac. The land on which you sleep, I give to you and your descendants. Your descendants will spread out to the west and east, to the north and the south. Through you and your descendants, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. See, I am with you and I will keep you safe wherever you go. I will bring you back to this land and not leave you until I have done what I have promised. So this is the, this is the connection, isn't it? God is saying that I am with you. Of course you are here. I am with you and I will be with you. And I will never leave you. Jacob took that stone pillow. He was laying his own head on a stone. And he took that pillow and as a remembrance and he made, a, made, a, made an altar with that and worship God. So you should have in your life those memories where God spoke to you and you should bring that memory to worship, to connect yourself to him. You are here but then you have the strength of God all the time. You live here but then you, your focus should be there. So, Jacob made a deal with the Lord that I'll give my 10% to you and you should bless me. You, took take, you should take me to, back to my father's house. And that is, that is that, that treaty, that covenant. That is that letter. So in the gospel we find today how, how Yairus, the official of the synagogue, came to him, bowed before him and said, my daughter has just died. My daughter has just died. But then if you come and lay your hand on her, she will live again. See this ladder. It was done. According to our knowledge, human strength, she's dead. And Yaira says, this leader of the, uh, leader of the synagogue says, if you come and lay your hand, See this ladder, angels coming down and going up. This is how God intervened in your life. You live here, but then you have the power of heaven. You raise your need, you raise your life to him, and he will come down. Incarnation is a symbol of this ladder, where God came down, and he, he, he will go, he went up with ascension. And that's continually this connection, this relationship is there. And then on his way, a woman came to Jesus. A woman who had suffered from severe, severe bleeding for 12 years came, to, came up from behind and touched the edge of his cloak. For she thought, if I only touch his cloak, I will be healed. Jesus saw her 
and said, Courage, my daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that moment, the woman was cured. This ladder in life. So, it's a beautiful invitation to have that awareness. Always. God will come down and he will go up and one day you have to go there. You came from there. You came from his bosom and you have to go there. This heavenly ladder will remind us of that connection always. Jesus goes to Jairus' place. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the, and, the, and the excited crowd, he said, go out of here. The girl is not dead. She's only sleeping. Only this ladder will remind you that God is there. For what? What is dead? That huge, huge problem, the sea which you cannot part, is just, just simply a word with which you can, we can part. When there is no way, he will make a way. For God is just asleep. But then for us, it's dead. That's how when you are live, when you have this ladder in your mind, this connection in your, with, in your mind, with Jesus' word, what is, what is huge, Goliath would be nothing. If you live in this remembrance, if you live in this promise, this ladder, God, but then it's important. The people's opinion, they are mourning, they are, they are murmuring. Jesus put them all out of the, of the incident, of that place. And he went in and what happened? And they laughed at him. But once the crowd had been turned out, Jesus went in and took the girl by the hand. They laughed. Those who don't have this connection, it's just a joke. The word of God is a joke. They will always live here. They, will, they don't have this relationship. You live in the word. You will experience. You will experience greater things. He said, Jesus said, you will see greater things. Angels descending and ascending. And that's how you are invited to live. Always remember, is there. God has promised, promised Jacob, I'll be with you. I'll be with you. I will bring you back to this land and not leave you until I have done what is promised. So in your life journey, God is the Emmanuel. Jehoshamma, the presence of God, is this ladder. He took that girl by hand and said, Talita Kumi, child, little girl, get up. So it's a beautiful promise that God is giving that he's there with you. Remember this ladder, always. When you're cut up, when you're broken, when you're done, when you're crushed, when you don't have, when you don't have any hope, humanly speaking, this ladder will remind you, remind you that God's intervention is always, always there with me. Think about it and have a nice day. May God bless you.